Yo, what is going on guys? So for today's episode, we've got a video here of a woman who has been ghosted in the most hilarious way possible. Now this video goes for a full minute, so I'm going to let it play through and then we will kind of uh, give our thoughts. So without further ado, let's crack into it. What is the worst way you've ever been ghosted? Oh, the sound was made for me. I was with a man for two years and I thought I was going to marry him, have his babies and spend the rest of our lives together. But then COVID hit and he unfortunately told me that he thought he had it. Ugh. He said he was thinking about going to the hospital because he felt so bad, but then miraculously he was starting to feel better. But it was that same day he told me he was feeling better that I never heard from him ever again. He suddenly stopped responding to all my calls, all my texts. A week later, his phone went right to voicemail. I freaked out. I started calling the hospital thinking maybe something happened and he's at the hospital. He wasn't there. I called all the hospitals in the area and he wasn't there. I called the police and filed a missing persons report. And you know what they told me? They told me my boyfriend did not exist. So not only did my boyfriend ghost me by faking his own death, he also had lied to me for two years about his real identity. What? <laughs> You know, a lot of these girls out here, man, and you know, this could be a true story, it could be a fake story, who the hell knows, right? Um, but a lot of girls out here at the moment are getting ghosted, all right, and getting left on red uh, by these guys who have no interest in them, right? A lot of these girls, man, they don't have relationships. They think that they're with a guy, oh yeah, I'll finally get him to commit. You don't have a relationship. And it's so hard for some of these women to understand that, hey, maybe men are just not interested in you. But what is going on, gentlemen? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's show, guys, we're going to be going through a few clips as well as a few stories. You already know the drill, but now we're going to play through this video and just kind of uh, commentate over it before we crack into uh, the next video because there's a few funny points to make in here. Now, she says here that I was with a man for two years and she thought she was going to marry him, have his babies, and spend the rest of our lives together. You know, it's very funny. Right? How women think that, oh yeah, I, I want to do all of these great things with him. I want to do all of these fantastic things. And he left me all of a sudden. You know, <laughs> there are red flags, okay, for when someone's not invested into a relationship, not interested in you. Uh, but these girls run headfirst for red flags, gentlemen. I'm telling you, um, the red flags, a lot of the time, are the reason why she's actually in the relationship. Like, look at this, right? He suddenly stopped responding to all of my calls, all my texts, and a week later, his phone went right to voicemail. These are not things that randomly happen, okay? If a dude doesn't want to see you outside of 20 minutes on a Wednesday, he doesn't want a relationship with you. All right, well, let's jump into today's next video. What? And this is uh, just a bit of a warning on the headphones, guys. This, I believe this lady yells and it might blow your eardrums, so. Something you'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud. Being in a relationship seems very overrated. I've been single my whole life and I've noticed that way too many of my friends and way too many people that I know only feel validated or see their worth when they're in relationships. They go for I find that so funny. Okay, and the reason why is, you know, these girls will sit here and they'll tell you to your face, I've been, I've been single for 20 years, you know, I've been single for 10 years or however long they say the period of time is, two years, whatever the case may be. Um, these girls are still seeing men, right? But what they're doing is they're just not having relationships. They're having hookups, right? And in these hookups, guys, one or both people generally catch feelings. Okay, so, you know, these girls want to pretend like they're, they're going through life and just, you know, we don't need relationships and everything's fine. And yet these are the same girls that will be crying at 3 a.m. thinking that they're not good enough as people because they can't get a man to commit to them. Man, you will see this all the time, right? Where girls will say, I'm strong and independent. I don't need no man, right? And they'll be talking to a guy because that's what the kids call it these days, right? Talking. Yeah, we're, we're talking. Um, so she'll be talking to some guy because make no mistake, she is right? If a girl is not in a relationship, guys, she is talking to someone. And this guy that she's talking to, you think that uh, at some point, she doesn't want his commitment, right? A lot of the times, girls are only talking to these men because they want the commitment, right? That is why some of these girls are perpetually out of relationships because they're addicted to the chase. Once they've got a guy, he becomes so much less interesting, right? What's the, these girls look at it like, what's the point? They, they get bored, Really easy, and this is this is something that you will see, you know, struggles in long-term relationships and marriages <coughs> and stuff like that, is girls will just straight up get bored, man. 
like they they will they'll you know till death do its part doesn't mean a whole lot these days um girls will leave 14 i've had stories gentlemen you guys tell me your life experiences and, and send stories of what's happened to you guys and you know people have sent me messages oh hey taylor man i just wanted to quick share a quick story uh, i was with my wife for 14 years and she left for no reason she created an argument that wasn't really anything to do with anything and she was out the door and you know because girls feel one way one day and feel another way the next but let's keep going they go from relationship to relationship with only a few weeks or months in between or they always have to be talking to somebody because they don't know who they are outside of being in a relationship they will and you're not talking to anybody okay now let's just go out on a limb here and say that this this woman on tiktok here is uh hasn't been talking to anyone like do you guys really buy that right like <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, these girls who sit there and they say, I'm not in a, you know, I've been single for this many years, or like, I haven't, you know, what that really means is I've been screwing around the entire time. Now, I've got nothing against, if these girls want to go out here and do that, I've said this many times, I couldn't give a crap what they do, gentlemen. You know, if they want to go out there and they want to have all these fun experiences and, you know, with, with different dudes, that's, that's their decision to make. I personally couldn't care less about what they do with their lives. The real problem comes, right? later on when they start to try and manipulate men into into marriages and stuff like that because marriages are a risk for men they are not a risk for women okay and let me tell you that that happens more commonly than you would think okay because what happens is girls exactly like this saying the exact same story will get on camera or say to dudes you know i've been single for this many years and then all of a sudden they they realize that they're actually running out of time and they want to play it off as though, oh, society's pressuring me into having kids and having a family and, and getting married. It's society pressuring me into all of these things. No, you know what's pressuring you into it? Your biology. Okay, it's not, it's not men saying, hey, you need to have kids by this age. I don't care if you have kids or not. I'm just saying that, hey, you know, if you want to have kids, you've got a, you've got a, a finite amount of time to do it. You can't be like a man going to 45, working on your career, and then decide you want to have children it gets more and more and more of a less viable decision for you to make as because there comes a point where you just can't anymore right and it's a lot earlier than these ladies like to uh take account of this is why you see these girls and we'll continue again in a second here who get to 26 get to 27 and they have a real rough time right because they start to realize oh i'm i'm gonna run out of time you know so let's keep going settle for mediocre relationships because the thought of being alone is way more terrifying to them and they're the same people who always complain about their partner and say that they're toxic or they aren't treating them well when i tell these people yeah it's almost like that's the reason why the girls are in the relationship as as disgusting as it is to say gentlemen a lot of these women are in relationships because the men the man does not fully commit to them or he doesn't care about them or he doesn't validate them all of these things girls will be in relationships spanning you know 35 damn months okay and the entire duration they'll they'll complain to their guy best friend about how they're mistreated and oh he doesn't call her beautiful and everything like that and one day the relationship will fall apart because that guy will start supplicating to her and validating her and doing all of these things that she wanted him to do i'm telling you man girls will spend an enormous amount of time and energy trying to pressure men into behaving a particular way in relationships and then when they do they, they keep their eyes out you know for the next better deal I, I said this on a video that i actually recorded right before this one for uh either either patreon or, or locals i'm not sure which one but um I, I recorded a video where uh goodness gracious me i lost my train of thought gentlemen excuse me <coughs> moving on I'll, I'll remember in a second probably People that have never been in a relationship before they are immediately like oh my god but you're so pretty don't worry your day will come love will find you you will find your perfect missing puzzle piece and i'm like whoa i didn't ask for all that i'm not insecure about being alone because unlike you my worth and identity and how attractive i am and how worthy i am of love doesn't come from being in a relationship i'm single on purpose yeah yeah <laughs> i don't buy that i really don't Okay, these girls can get on here and they can say that their self-esteem comes from within and, you know, it's all about me and, and what I perceive myself and how valuable I am. I don't believe it for a second. I really don't. I, I've seen this so many times, man, where these girls will have this exact same attitude and these are the same girls, I'm telling you, crying at 3 a.m. on, you know, after being clubbing, right, because they because the guy that they like wouldn't come out to see them because he was busy. Right, or he was hanging out with another girl or something like that. 
his goals will sit here and they'll, they'll pretend like they're fine. I don't need no relationship and stuff like that, which is, hey, it, it's fantastic if that's the truth, right? Like if you want to go out there and, you know, have your fun and have fun in your 20s and that's what you want to do, you know, knock yourself out, okay? E enjoy yourself. However, expecting men to come up and come along and pick up the pieces after those, those guys that you really want um, won't commit to you, it, it becomes a really tragic comedy. Okay, and it's something that's really entertaining, man, because this is something like if you watch these videos for any length of time, um, you will see this stuff everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, man. I'm telling you, basically every relationship, the same exact patterns are there. Okay, and people want to pretend <laughs> these girls want to sit there and tell me that they're that they're different, right? They'll they will sit there and you know, make this video for people like you to consume. And they want to tell you that, oh, I'm different because X, Y, Z. I don't, I don't really buy it, gentlemen. But we're going to crack into today's next video. And then we're going to jump into some Reddit stories as well. And, someone tell me, you know, warning on this video as well, gentlemen, as we get to three quarters, as we go further in, uh, it does get a significant amount louder. So for headphone users, just, uh, just be careful. Why? I'm getting ready for a date. Someone tell me why. I'm getting ready for a date at 11 a.m. Not... I am getting ready for a date and it is 11 a.m. The date begins at 11 a.m. My face has not even woken up yet. Like the guy is super interesting and he looks like Matthew Gray Goobler who I did not even realize I was into until now. Um, but when I said let's meet during the day, I anticipated a time that ended in p.m. You see, you see what I mean? And if you think about what she just said there, gentlemen, she just told on herself. Right, so let's just, let's just go back and address this. And this is something for, you know, if you're a man right now and you're watching this and you're someone who's interested in dating or you're out there dating, like I know I've got a whole different, there's a whole different bunch of men who watch this channel, right? We've got dudes in relationships. We've got guys who are avoiding relationships. We've got some married dudes, I believe in here. And, you know, base, every, everyone under the sun pretty much is, is over here, right? Um, but for, this is specifically addressing uh, the guys who are choosing to go out and have fun, okay? If you are meeting up with a girl and your intention is to have fun with her, do not meet up with her in the morning, okay? The reason why girls like this say, I'm surprised um, he didn't want to meet up at nighttime is because the dudes that they're meeting up with, it's their hookups. They're, they're not serious relationships or anything like that because here's what ha has to happen, okay? If you're a man and you want to you wanna have fun with these girls, you've got to give them some sort of excuse, right? Like it has, to, it has to be your fault, right? So what you do is, you know, oh, let's go out for drinks or let's do this. And like you, draw, you know, either you go out and do that or you just invite her straight over, right? But the, the thing is, it has to feel to her like, oh, one thing led to another. You know, I didn't consciously choose to go back to his house. We just had coffee at, you know, at 5.30 p.m. And then one thing led to another and then I was, I was back at his house. You see, they want to be able to tell themselves that lie, right? To be able to make it as though, okay, well, I didn't, I didn't make a terrible decision, right? I didn't you know, lower my value because that's what it, this, I don't care how many times, man, these girls will sit here and say that, um, you know, making these decisions doesn't make them any less valuable. Okay. I don't care. That, that's, uh, that's just them coping. It, that's what it is. Um, but what they'll do is they'll, they'll have to rationalize it to themselves. So they'll, they'll go out on these PM dates knowing full well what's going to happen. Okay. So it, returning to the original point, if you're a man and you're into dating, don't ask girls to hang out in the morning. Uh, you know, go go do your thing in the PM times. It'll save you a lot of hassle, right? But let's keep going with the story, and I believe it gets loud uh, momentarily here. During the day, I anticipated a time that ended in PM. Could I have suggested a later time? Yes, of course I could have. But he already made these brunch plans, and like we as women are conditioned to not rock the boat. I find that very funny as well, right? Where she says we as women are not condition to rock the boat you see any time where there's got to be some accountability in the decisions that they make like what kind of dates they go on your yeah, quote unquote dates right uh when they go see a man what they want to do is they want to remove all accountability in the decision okay i i chose to meet him at this time because i didn't want to rock the boat you know i made this decision because i was pressured by society to think this certain way i you know notice how at every step of the way the accountability has to be removed for her to for her to continue forward right none of these girls want to <laughs> you see if you outright ask a girl you know do you want to do you want to have fun or, or something like that you know I, i've got to be uh fairly family friendly because youtube right um 
but they'll just outright reject you or, or say no you know 99 times out of 100 okay but if you give them some dumb excuse like oh hey you know there's music back at my house uh, oh yeah that sounds that sounds great you know and just just notice as we continue through these videos gentlemen the like the lack of accountability it just permeates through all of them but uh let's continue and i believe actually right after this part is when it gets loud excuse me why do we do that so why did i not rock the boat why didn't i not just uh, say hey let's meet a little bit later i like i don't even know what's going to be open around then i don't know why i didn't i don't know but is it very polite of him to make plans yes of course so i'm gonna go i see him walking it's because he's hot okay so let's address that last part there right so is it very polite of him to make plans and then she says of course it is i'm gonna go Right, and this is a huge mistake that a lot of a lot of guys get themselves into, where they they watch a video like this and they think, oh, well, okay, if I make the plans, then surely she's gonna go, right? Because that's that's the natural inference there, right? The inference there is a man who sets up things and actually wants to see her, um, is a guy that she's going to obviously go on the go on the date with, and she's gonna go see. But what what she's actually saying there is all of the men that I've been seeing in the past. Um, none of them wanted to spend time with me. That's that's the translation, okay? And then the translation beyond that then is, um, I am attracted to men who are not interested in, you know, treating me as someone who's their equal. You, you, you see how the layers are there, right? Because she wants to be able to sit in her car here and say, oh, well, I went to go make plans, right? Like, like I'm going to go if a guy makes plans, right? But then you as a guy might think to yourself, okay, well, that sounds like a good plan. I'll make the plans. And then the girl won't go. You, you, see, you see what I'm saying here is like, it's very misleading when you watch this stuff and just, oh my goodness, I just checked, right? Just to uh, give you guys an idea before we move on with today's episode, okay? This video alone has 1.6 million likes on it. Okay, now if you didn't know, well, uh, you should uh, if you if you watch YouTube. But obviously, the the likes are um of oftentimes a small percentage of the amount of views on the video. So this video probably has ten plus million views on it, you know. And like this sort of stuff, like men will watch this, young dudes will watch this, and they'll they'll think, okay, well, this is what I need to do, or uh, this is this is gonna like guys will extrapolate from this stuff because this is what women you know tell society they go oh, i want a man who organizes things i want a man who does all this and then guys guys actually listen right and and when you listen to their advice surprise surprise it works out terribly a lot of this advice is just absolute absolute garbage and i don't say that to be mean to the girl i don't say that to be rude um but you follow any of the stuff that they kind of say and it'll just lead you down a path of uh you know just one you don't want to go down but gentlemen, we are momentarily going to switch into today's Reddit stories and hopefully OBS doesn't crash for like the third time trying to record this video. Now we've got a bunch of small little uh, things that I'd like to talk about and show you guys here. And these are very common. So this first one is quite short and it is titled, I told my husband I want a divorce and it is under the flare of getting started. So let's just give this a read through. It says, after almost 11 years of marriage, I told my husband I want a divorce. I've been on the verge for four years and it hit me just yesterday that it needed to happen. He's devastated, but I think he knows it's right. We have young kids, <coughs> four and seven. I have thoughts on logistics, but I just have no idea how to do this. What's the next and the first step? Guys, I look, my memory is kind of drawing a blank here, but did I not say earlier in this episode, the girls will literally go through like 14 years of marriage, right? And then just decide one day to leave. And I didn't, Full disclosure, gentlemen, I didn't know which story we were covering first here, so what a damn coincidence, okay? <laughs> it's it's so funny, right? And and I don't mean, like, actually funny. I mean, it, it's kind of sickening, really, um, because it's it's true, right? Like, all this stuff, gentlemen, of, of girls just feeling one way one day and, you know, feeling another the next, it really does happen. I don't care if you've got kids. I don't care if you've been together for 20 years, okay? This stuff will blindside a lot of men. Uh, because, you know, she's got to go and find herself. And I want you to really notice as well, as I switch into the wrong screen uh, every damn day here. Um, look at this, okay? He's devastated, but I think he knows it's right. A lot of these girls will make these decisions, man. And it'll just be like, it'll blindside the guy. Girls, I'm telling you, man. Girls will stay in a relationship until they have the next one secured. 
And now we as men, we don't... Un I, I personally don't understand that. I don't speak for all men when I say this, but that's not something I understand on... You know, I don't like to talk about ethics on this channel, guys. Like, I just prefer to show you the information, but ethically, I do not understand that at all, <laughs> right? I, I just really don't. Staying in a relationship with someone and you know full well that you're about to ditch them for another person or you, you know, you just want to leave to go see other dudes. It's just, it's just something that blows my mind, like conceptually. Um, and again, I'm not here, I'm not here on some high horse telling you guys how your morals should be. You know, it just, it just never ceases to amaze me is the, is the point that I'm trying to make here. But let's crack into some of these comments and see what these people have to say, because I haven't read these yet. So my first steps started before I ever told my ex, I worked for months on budgets and support plans. As I make more money than her, I knew it was going to be devastating to her, but I wanted to make sure she was able to keep the house. Uh, grew up there. It's gotten easier for her as the time has gone on. We saw the lawyer Monday and are agreed on everything that should actually be filing next week. I've been doing the same. We're going to need to sit down to really work through logistics, but I'm just not sure even what comes first. When do we tell the kids? These situations, man, I feel sorry for the kids. Really, I, I do. Like uh, These people who want to get into long-term relationships and like the kids should come first okay these are like these are the people who whose whole life is going to be shaped by your decisions um and a lot of these girls are making quite frankly very selfish decisions uh to leave these situations which you know a lot of girls will say hey i should be able to leave a marriage whenever i want because what if he's awful that is the point of vetting a partner okay you're not supposed to be jumping into a relationship with a guy who's terrible you're not supposed to be jumping in with to a marriage with a guy who's terrible a lot of women are just absolutely i'm just going to say it guys they're terrible at vetting their partners they they have terrible taste in dudes you know and whether or not they come from a broken family it's all a gradient as far as i'm concerned um the decision making in terms of partners is just outright abysmal like let's just call it for what it is uh, we told the kids the night that I actually asked for the divorce. My thought process was that it was going to get awkward, emotional, bitter, and things like that in the beginning, uh, that they would have been able to tell something was up. I felt it best to get let them know uh, what was going on rather than leave them in the dark. How old were they? 19 and 13. Okay, so this was uh, someone else. Right in. Now let's crack into uh, today's next story, gentlemen, as I momentarily switch the screen, uh, hopefully to the right stuff. So let's have a look at this one. Goodness gracious me, that's a, that's a bit of a dark one. We might, we might do this one next. So let's have a look at this. The title of this article, and I, I cannot stress how common these seem to be. Like the last one was seven days ago, I believe. This one is five days ago. Okay, stuff like this is incredibly common. You guys send me these articles and your stories all the time, man. Um, this, is, this is not uncommon at all. So let's jump in. My wife and I have been married since the mid-90s. We have two kids at home, so it gets more complicated. I'm a business professional. My wife works too. We are successful per the standard American dream. However, my wife has acted inappropriately multiple, multiple times in our marriage. Earlier in our marriage, say five or six years in, she very likely had an affair, uh, which she never owned up to. All the signs were there. We had no bedroom fund. She stayed thin and groomed, etc. Uh, later, she started working with a guy and would leave the room I was in to talk with the guy in the evenings. She wrote with him in sales call one day and he used the, I forgot my wallet upstairs, want to see my apartment. She went upstairs but swears nothing happened. Off and on, she has built relationships, attention seeking with guys around her. They often went over the line and left me in a very bad place personally. Just a note on that uh, that wallet situation. This is exactly what I'm talking about with like those little, those little excuses that girls need to girls need to have some sort of excuse so that they can rationalize the decision that they're that they're making okay and that's like so the excuse in this situation let's have a look at it is uh where was it uh you know he has to say that he forgot his wallet this isn't as clear of one this is actually a terrible example on my part goodness me but um oft oftentimes girls will need some excuse like oh i forgot my wallet or you know let's go back to mine or you get the point. That was a terrible example on, on my behalf. I misread that, but let's continue. Now that I'm 48, uh, I question how I could be so stupid to let this slide. She was always confronted and I was told I was mean and that nothing happened. It has just happened too many times, too far to uh, too many years. I've turned a blind eye for the sake of my family. Now I feel like a complete idiot as I watch her live her best life and just occasionally say, you know, I love you, right? And expect that to be enough. 
Goodness me, she actually is a good, hard-working woman that everyone loves, but I have been treated like crap for far too long. She physically won't touch me unless I make a deal out of it. Zero compliments, so I have felt unattractive for years, and she justifies it by saying she keeps a clean house. No dating, not personal connection. Um, she is constantly condescending, and etc. It blows my mind, right, when we read these stories, and just how much the the men are gaslit in these in these situations. You know. I see all the time, all over Instagram, all over every social media platform about girls complaining about gaslighting. Gentlemen, gaslighting is something that comes far more naturally to women, okay? We talk about manipulation on this channel sometimes. We talk about, you know, lying and stuff like that. Girls, I'm just going to be st straight honest with it, guys. Girls are way better at it. They, they are way, way, way better at it. Like, it's, it's not even a competition a lot of the time. So these men who, you know, are good men, I would say, generally speaking... Um, who get into marriages and who, you know, care about their family and stuff like that. They just don't, they're unable to grasp what the hell actually happened, what what the hell is actually happening. And a lot of these guys, when they come out of the relationships, and I've said this before, um, they can't tell up from down, right? Because they think when they get out that they're the terrible guy, right? They're the, they're the awful person. They're the reason that the relationship went this particular direction, she made all of the terrible decisions in the relationship, and yet guys are walking out of relationships thinking that they're the problem. Like That that just does not sit right with me, gentlemen, at all. And I, I think a lot of men need to um, learn what gaslighting is. Like, if you're new to the channel, gentlemen, I would encourage you after the video is over, if you've made it this far, um, to go and do your research on what gaslighting is. It's very important that you understand what that is, um, because it is, like I said, very common. Let's keep going. Four years ago, I was to the point of leaving and decided to stick it out. I asked to go to counseling. She refused. I assume it is because she would have to admit some stuff. I'm to the point. I just don't know what to do anymore. I have to, uh, I have uh, fee to zero th friends. I haven't felt attractive in years. I work like a dog and have basically just held on for years. I'm tired. I'm done. I just don't know where to go from here. And... Goodness me, let's read some of the comments before I uh, provide a bit more thoughts. And guys, leave your thoughts to these situations as well um, as we go through. It's always interesting to see what you gentlemen have to say and your own personal experiences with this. Because I know we have men watching this right now who can probably very much relate to the situation that that guy just described. Where to go from here is your own apartment. She's enjoyed her life. It's time that you do the same thing. Stop wasting your life. It is possible. Oh my goodness. Is it possible that you're the toxic one? You literally just listed your wife staying thin and groomed as a potential sign of cheating. I, <laughs> I took that to mean groomed as in body hair in a certain region. If you couple that with uh, what he said, they're not having bedroom fun, then that, that is a big blaring sign of infidelity. Guys, that's the, f uh, that's the first comment, by the way. Right? Where this person, you know, jumps at him and says, maybe you're the toxic one. Goodness me. Like, and this is, this is something that men are hit with every single time. Like, this is the reason why a lot of guys don't really speak up about their situation, because the girl will always paint them as the A word. And I don't mean A hole. I mean, I mean the, the other one that has pretty much lost all meaning. Uh, it goes along nicely with the use of the word toxic these days. But, you know, let's continue. Well, it sounds like the last 15 years have been pretty painful. I know many have advised therapy, and I just need to circle. Uh, I just need to circle and underline that whether you go or stay, you need to not only heal but understand and own any responsibility for this relationship mess that is yours. I agree with that. You know, if any of that is his fault, he does need to own up. But um, look, it's the wife's decision to go through the infidelity. You deserve to be in a satisfying relationship, but you must be able to correct behavior in the you that may have contributed first. This can't all be laid at your wife's feet. Uh, what if it can? You know, what if it can? I, I, I hate to see this, man. I, I'm actually, you guys can't see it, obviously, because I'm just a character on the screen, but I'm rubbing my eyes right now, okay? Because you'll notice how when men are in these situations, oh, it's, it's something that he must have done first. It's his wrong, his wrong decision. But let's just say you reverse the situation and you say the same thing to the girl, everyone will come after you with pitchforks, dude. I'm telling you, if a girl goes through a situation like this and you say, hey, Maybe you were the problem. Oh, you get called everything under the sun. But these people feel perfectly okay saying that, hey, uh, your wife cheated on you. Your wife, you know, gives you no attention. You know, she treats you like utter garbage and you work to pay all the, you know, you work a, like a dog in his own words. Um, oh, well, it must have been something you did. All right, see, it's perfect. Notice how it's perfectly okay, right? When it's directed the man's way. But, and it's, and it's, let me just stress again. The first comment, um, 
uh, so excuse me pardon the second comment was is it possible that you're the toxic one right and then the third one was again saying that it was probably him right like here again placing blame at his feet like i just i'm so sick of seeing this and then the fourth one oh wait no that's not one we haven't read this yet but let's continue uh your you acceptance of the behavior in her twisted mind can be constru construed as not really caring Lack of action is consent. I am sad that you have settled for this yourself. I hope you find true love and respect one day. Happiness. Goodness me. Let's see if we've got any other short ones here. So sorry that you spent the best years of your life with a woman who doesn't respect you. Too bad you didn't leave the first time she cheated. The best thing you can do is spare yourself and live the last half of your life with someone who respects you. It's okay to end a bad marriage. I like... <laughs> Go to the gym. Lift, bro. Deadlifts. I love it. You know, we've been, uh, ironically enough, I uh, just came from the gym and we did some some deadlifts, but well, not we because I didn't go with the boys today, but um, gym is actually incredibly important. You know, I hate to be that guy on YouTube that says, hey, gentlemen, uh, you know, just go do lifts and everything's going to be okay, right? Like, I, I hate to be that guy, but really there is a lot of truth in saying that the gym has helped a lot of men. And, um, you know, physical fitness is incredibly important for your mental health, guys. Like, I, I can't stress that enough as much as it is kind of like a running meme at the moment. Um, make sure you are staying uh, physically fit and eating enough food, okay? Because that'll make a huge difference. But, gentlemen, we are going to be leaving today's show there. We are consistently running overtime these days. Um, so, as always, make sure, make sure you leave your comments and your thoughts before you wrap up. And come and join the Discord and the Locals link in the description, guys. If you are interested in supporting the channel, uh, Locals has an option for that. But otherwise, we will call it there, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.